Although very improbable or very rare, the recoil spring from the pull starter system may break sometimes. And uh, usually how you identify that problem is after you pull the cord, it doesn't go back. But that's not that a big deal because it can be fixed very easy. We will show you how. Sure that you have springs and release the tension directly to the cable. Hi guys, welcome back to the Paramotor Engine Maintenance Series, a series in which we will show you every single aspect of maintaining or fixing your lovely Vitorazzi Master engine. As I said before, today we will show you how easy it is to replace the recoil spring in the pull starter system. For replacing the recoil spring, first you need to remove the pull starter from the engine and for proper removing and installation of the pull start on the engine. We already have a video about that, the video where we showed you how to change the pull start cord. So please be sure that you watch that first so you know how to do it properly. You will find a link in the description down below. Once the pull starter removed, now we should remove the retaining spring for the plastic tooth. Please be sure that it has no tension in the spring whatsoever. You can just lift it. And the spring is out. Please be sure that you wear eye protection because the spring can recoil and hit you in the face or in the eyes. And uh, it's a pretty dangerous situation. Now we will show you how to install a new spring or in the situation that you have the spring out, you don't need to freak out, you just need to know how to install it properly back, being completely safe and very easy. So the new spring comes like this, with a piece of wire that is all the way around, so the spring is already tensioned. All the thing we need to do is just to put it here. You have this notch here, on the outside is bent on the spring, and this bend should come here, in this notch. And you would put it like this. And now push it. And while applying pressure on the spring, be careful. Just remove the safety wire around it. And the spring is in place. Installing the whole assembly back, it's just as easy as you have this notch here that in the, in the plastic pulley that needs to catch this part of the spring here. So we will put it like this. So now, as you can see, the spring is already doing its job. All the thing that we need to do is just to install the tooth back, plastic tooth, spring, washers, the spring, and install the pull starter back together. So now, let's take the situation where you have the spring already out, and you need to install it back into its location. The safest way to do it, and the way I do it, is just start with the bigger end, this end, that needs to go into this notch here. And while applying tension with fingers on both sides, you can work your way around. and the spring is in. Now again, doing the same thing, we will install this here. When installing a new spring in, please be sure that you take a brush and with a little bit of grease, you just grease all the spring all the way around so you can prevent rust and the spring can slide way easily 
one surface over another because it's metal. Now we just need to install plastic tooth back, install the washers, now install the spring. Now we already discussed about how to proper tension the spring here. So if you do it backwards, you will see that the spring is keeping inside because it has like a ratchet system, a very smart one. And when you put it, pull it on the other side, the spring is engaging. So now again, retentioning the spring, let's say this part of the X bracket would be our upper part. Just tighten down the spring until it stops. So you, you, you reached the end of the spring. Now go, so now you reach the end of the spring. Now go one turn back. And after that, let the cord to spool in. And by doing that, you are sure that when you're pulling all the cord away from the, from the spool, from the pulley, you don't reach the end of the spring. So you can't damage the spring in any way. So go all the way until the spring stops the turning of the pulley, go one full turn back and after that let the cord spool back to the pulley. After the recoil spring is in place, the tension is set right, in order to mount back the new recoil spring or we just reseated the old one, we can install the pull starter back onto the engine. So for doing that, we will place it over the engine, the cord over the pulley that is on the spacer using just a little bit of Loctite on the screws, mount them back and job is done. Everything tightened and down. After installing the pull start, please be sure that everything is working as it should. Yeah, this is all right. So now we can go flying and enjoy our airtime. Guys, thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate your like and share to this video. And please be sure that you stay with us because we have a lot, a lot of more videos to come in which we will show you every single aspect of maintaining, fixing or upgrading your lovely Vitorazzi Master Plus engine. Buying parts for Vitorazzi engines or for Scout Paramotors is just as easy and as simple as a click away. Please be sure that you visit our eShop, eshop.scoutparamotor.com. You have there everything you need, very accessible and with the next day delivery. Place your order now. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Ciao.